So what I'm going to talk to you about today is raising your vibration and seeing your attention. Very simple. What you need to do is take control of your life. That's what your end goal is. That's what you desire to do. Is take control over your life. And how you do that is you have to stop and say, what am I doing on a daily basis, on a repetitive basis, that's causing me to be perpetually in the category or be in the vibration pool that I'm in right now. And I probably said that a little too exquisite, exquisite, or however you want to say it. But the bottom line of what I'm saying is initially, you're gonna have to stop doing the things that are putting you in that category of low vibration. It could be a habit what you're doing. It could be someone you're talking to. It could be how you dress. It's some form of action or rep repetitive task that you're doing on a daily basis that's keeping you on that vibrational spectrum. And semen retention, the only thing it does is pull Hold, the only thing you're doing is holding yourself in some form that's giving you an observable view of what's happening in your life. Now, if you're not observing your life in whatsoever, in any manner, then it's going to be hard for you to see what's pulling you in that vibration. Now, the problem I have with semen retention and the clout that is gaining so far on the internet is the fact that a lot of people are still not thinking. They're still not thinking, they're mainly following because they see a desirable outcome that they wish to achieve. Now with that, achieve, with that desirable outcome that you wish to achieve, you still have to think, not only take in advice, but also think for yourself, by yourself. Not taking on the philosophy and the beliefs of other men, but taking on what you know through your own life experiences. And once you gain that wisdom for yourself, you can notify it, you can doctor it down in the paper, preferably on pencil and paper. Me personally, I like pencil and paper. I don't like to write ink until I know it's foundational information that I know. If it's belief and it haven't been proven, I prefer to write it down on, pen on paper and pencil. Other than that, if you decide to write things down on your phone or on your computer and things of that nature, you're not writing it down, meaning the actions have not been cursed into the atmosphere. But the moment you decide to write it down on pencil and paper, or whether it be ink, therefore you're taking things to the next level and you're cursing it out into the atmosphere, allowing that vibration to be into a higher spectrum, if that makes sense. So with that being said, holding yourself in some form or fashion is actually going to take you to a whole different vibration. And once you understand that to the level of being, then you'll be able to see things from a whole different perspective. If you're not able to see that, then you're not going to be able to see it from a whole different perspective. You're going to ignore the blind size that's right in front of your face. You're going to see something and then you're going to be like, oh, wow, I didn't see it. Why? Because your eyes is not open up your body is decalibrated and you're not going to be able to see whatever it is you desire to see and that's going to be the thing that holds you back from the harsh reality of the world and that's going to be the number one thing to hold you back as you will have opportunities you will have notifications you will have everything you need all sources of information you need in front of your face but due to the low vibrational pole that you're vibrating on, you will never see those vibrations. I'm talking too much. <laughs>